Hi, y'all. Welcome to GGKCS, the podcast slash floss tube for fans of all things knitting, crafty, and geeky. I'm Cece. My pronouns are they, them. It is Friday, the 22nd of March. How? How are we almost a third of the way through the year? I, I don't even know. Uh, what did I say? The 22nd of March, 2024. And we are here for an unboxing of the March Black Needle Society box Saturday morning stitching. On the back, it tells you about the book that we're reading for the Books with BNS Club. Anybody is welcome to join. Uh, the April 6th discussion will be Mother Daughter Murder Night by Nina Simmons. I had read it before we even picked it. It is such a good book. Um, and then there's a couple other suggestions of things to read. Um, there is the thing from um, Katie and Laura, which I have not read yet, but I will. July's box, Stitching Under the Stars. I'm super excited for that. Janine McGowan of the Blue Flower is going to is designing for that box. And then here we have the spoiler card. So here's the box in my lap. Let's go through it. I love, love, love that they're using these bigger because they're much easier to pick up off the floor when I invariably uh, drop them. Okay. It is. Okay, I was trying to figure out what it is. Okay, it's a TV remote. Remote needle case made by the Black Needle Society. Don't change that channel, but maybe change out that needle. Use this remote control inspired needle case to keep track of your extra needles while stitching or to take needles safely when traveling. So it just slides off and there's a nice big magnet in there. I have one from the Spring and Stars Hollow box that I use regularly. Speaking of Stars Hollow, how would y'all like to just hear um, a little story? has nothing to do with this box. It does have to do with Black Needle Society because next week is the Winter in Stars Hollow Retreat, which I'm so excited for, but I'm also a little sad for because it's the last of the four. And if you watch my unboxing, I had all the emotions. Okay, so I work four 10-hour shifts, so I'm off on Fridays. Um, so on my list of things to do today is to prep the uh, DMC flosses that were not in any of the three previous patterns and get them on floss drops and just all that stuff. Now, this morning CC knew that past CC had bought the Fancy Floss conversion from Forbidden Fiber Co. This morning CC spent 30 minutes no joke, looking for that fancy floss. I was tearing things apart. Pumpkin and pink were like, mama, what are you doing? 30 minutes in, I was like, now when I organized my floss a few months ago, I would not have like hung up those because I know they're for Stars Hollow. Nope, in that closet right there where all of my floss hangs, unless it's in a project, they were on the Forbidden Fiber Co. ring on the hanger. So the moral of the story is past CC should not have been trying to organize uh, current CC's life. I was like, I know I have this where, I mean, like I was pulling like my craft tubs apart. I was going through my craft cart. I was like, maybe I left them on my desk so I could put them in the project. I looked through all my current projects. I, 30 minutes, no joke. Okay. That's the moral of the story. You should not try to be creative or craft. Uh, you should not be trying to be organized. Okay. We have our uh, needle minder. If you're new here, you don't have to tear it. You just pop it open and it's much easier to open this way. Oh, that is so cute. I'm trying to get it out of the other little bag that it's in. Okay, CC is half blind and I can't read. I can't read all the words because I don't have great eyesight. 
Let's see if it says on the thing here. Saturday morning stitching needle minder. Artwork by the Black Needle Society. The needle minder screen was inspired by the Looney Tunes intro card, but isn't a Saturday morning stitching show just a fancy name for floss tube? That's all, folks. So it says Saturday morning stitching. A Black Needle Society cartoon. Oh, color by Technicolor. That's what it says underneath. I need a magnifying glass, apparently. That is super, super cute. I like that a lot. Oh my goodness gracious. Donut spoon curated by the Black Needle Society. We couldn't send you a cereal bowl. Oh, oops, I must be getting a cereal bowl. Um, without sending a spoon to eat your cereal with. That's super cute. It would be a great, like, to stir your tea or your coffee. I do use one of the spoons from a previous box to stir my coffee every morning. Oh, so pretty. Okay. Let's see. Saturday cartoon thread pack. Died by Night Stalker's Calling, we asked John and Emily to create a trio of threads inspired by some of your favorite Saturday morning cartoons, Scooby-Doo, The Jetsons, and The Smurfs. We can't wait to see how you'll use these nostalgic threads. So this one is Shaggy. Do you see that, like, brown and yellow through it? This is Smurfs, and that is perfect Smurfs. And this is, oh, Jane Jetson. I love it. You know, this is a CC color. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, pretty. Uh, this is, I'm trying to get it out of the bag. This is the Cafe a Lot fabric, dyed by fiber on a whim. Your morning breakfast isn't complete without a cup of coffee to wake you up. Though we definitely didn't get to have this as a kid on Saturday mornings. We love this coffee-inspired color from Fiber on a Whim's standard fabric line. It's a fantastic neutral, and we think it might be perfect for our pattern this month. It's just a beautiful, beautiful neutral. Uh, I got the 16-count Ada, and it's a fat eighth, which is 18 inches by 13 inches. That's super pretty. They, uh, that would be That's a great fabric for... For something where you really want to let the um, the floss pop um, and let the fabric fade into the background, you know. So some we have some fabrics that it's like the fabric is the star of the show, and so the floss is uh, more more uh, neutral. But sometimes the fabric needs to be the star of the show, um, or the floss needs to be part of the star of the show. So you need a nice neutral. Oh, oh my goodness. Donut socks curated by the Black Needle Society. Saturdays were extra special when we got to have donuts. Oh, pumpkin, you're shaking the camera. Good girl. Sorry about that. Uh, Saturdays were extra special when we got to have donuts, but getting donuts means getting up early and walking on cold floors. Keep your toes toasty while you grab your breakfast. Those are super cute. Super cute. And that is a great, like, gift wrap bag. There we go. I was like, I think I'm missing something. I mean, like, I have the box, which I assume is the cereal bowl, and the pattern I can see is in the bottom. But I thought there was one more thing, maybe. And there is. Oh, my goodness. Uh, there we go. Cereal starter zipper pull designed by the Black Needle Society. Are you a cereal starter? We created the perfect cereal box inspired zipper pull for you to put on your next project you want to start. So it says Black Needle's cereal starter. Per serving. 41 stitches 
two something and 98 calories. I, sorry y'all, my eyesight is not great. So, okay, let me make sure. Okay, we did that, we did that, we did that. Okay, so yeah, we just have these last two things in a box. I love that they pack these things in these boxes like this because it really protects them in the shipping, but they're hard to open. Oh. Hoop Loop Cereal Bowl, designed by the Black Needle Society. Pour yourself a bowl of every stitcher's favorite cereal, Hoop Loops. Maybe all the sugar will kick your stitching into overdrive while you watch your favorite morning cartoons. So it says on it, Stitcher's Hoop Loops. If you are a knitter or a crocheter, this is also a great bowl to put your yarn ball in while you're working. Just saying. Okay, I grab the pattern here out of the bottom. Oh, it's very colorful. Oh, super cute. Saturday morning's pattern, designed by Flossy Fox Shop. We are excited to work with a new-to-the-box designer for this month's pattern. We've been following Andrea over on Instagram for quite some time, and when we came up with the idea to do this theme, she was the only designer we wanted to create a design for it. We love her use of color, and she even tucked some references into this pattern from favorite, favorite Saturday morning cartoons and characters including Kermit and Miss Piggy, the Ninja Turtles, Garfield, Bugs Bunny, Beauty and the Beast, Tom and Jerry, Pokemon, and Toro Toro. Totoro, sorry. To Totoro. That was not in my childhood. Can you spot them all? Okay, let's see if we can spot them all first. Okay, what are we looking for first? We're looking for Kermit and Miss Piggy. Well, there's the piggy. Oh, and there's Kermit. Kermit the Frog. Ninja Turtles. There's a turtle up there. Garfield. Maybe it's that up there. Bugs Bunny. Well, there's a bunny right there. There's also an orange cat there. That might be Garfield. Beauty and the Beast. Oh, there's a rose. There's a rose right there. Tom and Jerry. I bet that's Tom, Tom maybe. And there's Jerry, the little mouse. And a Pokemon. Pokemon is not, was not part of my childhood. Is that, is like the, is that like the red and white one there? And Totoro, I think, is this one. If I'm wrong, y'all could totally correct me. Okay, so this is 26 DMC colors. It's 146 by 86 stitches. So what I got 16 count, so it would be 9.1 by 5.4 inches. Um, very easy to read chart. Very, very pretty. Love that so much. Okay. So we have the pattern, we have the cereal bowl, we have donut socks, we have zipper pull, the cereal starter, we have that gorgeous fabric, we have these stunning, stunning flosses, we have the needle miter that tried to attach itself to the needle case because they both got magnets. And we have the donut, donut spoon. Is that everything? Needle minder, thread pack, zipper pull, needle case, socks, cereal bowl, spoon, fabric, and pattern. This was a great fun box. Um, yeah, I really, really like it. So I am a rep for the Bucket Needle Society, which means I get these every other month boxes to be able to unbox and share with you what's in them. Um, they put all of their extras, so I believe it will be... April 1st will be when they put 
the extras from this box into the vault on their website, theblackneedlesociety.com. And you can use my coupon code, JavaPearl5, J-A-V-A-P-U-R-L, for the num and the number five for 5% 5 off everything in the vault. You can use it more than once. Shop, shop. Love this. Thanks, as always, to Katie and Laura for curating such an amazing box. And uh, now I'm going to uh, get this floss. Oh, there's pink. Pink back there. Uh, pumpkin was over my shoulder when I first started, but I think she may have gone away before I started recording. But, you know, she shook the camera, so you know she's here. Um, okay, well, I am going to, like, get everything ready now for um, Winter and Stars Hollow. The floss is ready. I can't wait. I only work three days next week and three days a week after, which is amazing. And I'm ready for a good time stitching with my friends. So uh, happy crafting, and I'll talk to you again soon.